Hey guys, John from Titan here, and I'm back with our health tips to help you guys succeed at reaching your goals, whether it be weight loss, uh, putting on lean mass, or just overall feeling better. So two big questions I get all the time. One is, how often should I work out, John? All right, so the American Academy of College of Sports Medicine says that you should be working out at least 150 minutes per week, right? And this is to A, get all the health benefits, stay your same weight, and make sure you're staying on a healthy track to be inactive. If you're overweight or obese, they say 250 minutes, and this will help you rapidly decrease your weight to make sure that you're losing the weight to be healthier because being overweight and being obese is not healthy, okay? So don't let anybody sugarcoat that for you. Now with this, you can break down, let's say it's 150 minutes. You can break down through five days a week, seven days a week, just making sure you know it. Don't do it all in one day. Don't say, I'm just gonna go to the gym for all day and I hit 150 minutes of exercise. That's not gonna work. You wanna spread this out over time and be consistent. Now with this, you know, when working out, how often should you work out? Now for me, I would say at least, at least three to four days a week. Now doing 30 minutes to an hour, right? And that's kind of what I do right now. Now you can literally go five to six days a week. Now you should always give your body at least a day of rest. And I usually do that on Sundays, right? Or weekends, maybe Saturday and Sunday, and I work out all week. So I might work out five days a week at 30 minutes a pop. And at that point, I've covered that time period and what I really need to do. Now this set moderate intensity. So this is not just you just walking or like, you just go, um, I did my, I did my 30 minutes, John. I, I should be good, right? No, that's not right. So moderate intensity. How do you know you're at moderate intensity? The way that you know you're at moderate intensity is if you're working out and you can literally say something to somebody so you can get on a phone call and you can kind of talk to them and you're not, ah, ah, ah. you shouldn't be like that. Then you might be overexerting yourself at your level because there's different levels of fitness. People are different. You know, there, there's going to be people that are more seasoned that can work out more strenuous, harder than you can for a longer period of time and not get out of breath right? And there's some people that, that, you know, they start and they're at moderate intensity and they they could be at that level too, because they haven't worked out for 10 or 15 or 20 years. You can't expect yourself to get right in the gym and be able to go 110 miles an hour. Like somebody that's been in the gym for 20 years doing this at least five days a week. It makes sense, right? So you got to work your way into this. And the next question I get, how much should I be lifting, John? You know, what's a good start point for me? And I always tell them, listen, don't always focus in on reps, but you should focus in on and have a goal. And usually I'll do three to four sets, okay, for 10 to 12 repetitions, right? So that means three sets or four sets if you want. Um, and you're doing, at this repetition, you're going up, you know, at least 10 to 12. Now, how do you know the weight is, um, not enough weight or it's too much weight. So if you're at your 10th rep, right? And it feels like you can't do it. You might want to decrease the weight by a couple pounds, just a couple. And at that point you can continue on and hit the 12. Now, if you do decrease the weight and you say, well, I can hit 12, I can hit it easy. You can increase your reps. That's not a problem because that's building stamina and endurance for yourself. And that's really a good thing. Now, if you're reaching 12 and it's nothing, right? You're like, you're just like, I hit my 12. No, you want to increase the weight a little bit, not tremendously, but a little bit. And this is going to help your strength improve, your endurance improve, along with your stamina. So you're going to be able to go longer and stronger, okay? So at that point, make sure that you're exercising or getting plenty of activity through the week and you're spreading out those time periods. You have those times, look at your watch, look at the watch on the, or the clock on the wall, wherever you're working out or exercising at or activity wise, and make sure you are giving yourself enough weight to lift, okay? Whether it be free weights or you're on a machine or whatever you're doing. Another thing to do if you wanna increase strength, progressive load. So each week, you start adding you know, a pound or two pounds more to that exercise you were doing before. This will increase your strength and you will start going up and up and up and up, 
okay now when you hit to a certain point you don't want to go crazy so if you're at 400 pounds and you're like oh, i'm gonna go to 450 listen you don't want to cause damage you don't want to hurt yourself because if you do then you're going to have to rest relax and you're going to start losing all that work you put in all right so these are just a couple of the questions that i want to answer for you guys and some health tips and tricks straight from Titan medical center if you guys have any more questions or concerns you want to become a patient you want more help in this area Call or text us at 727-389-3220. Check out www.tightmedicalcenter.com too as well. I appreciate you guys tuning in and I'll be back with another segment for you guys helping out with health tips and tricks from Tight Medical Center. Thanks guys.